bad news for Peter Obi. As obedient movement rejects election rerun, says this shocking thing must happen to Tinubu. Nigerians matter don't talk for and it's getting more interesting as well. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. On the 11th of July 2023, the National Chairman of the Labour Party, Julius Aburi, reviewed that he would, he would be reliably informed that he has been reliably informed that the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, is preparing for a possible rerun of the 2023 presidential election. Despite the presidential election petition, Tribunal PEPT still deliberating on the matter. Aburi would urge the over 10 million members of the party to be on the alert and get ready to further humiliate APC and its government in the pools if their sinister plot materialized. He said that rumors have it that those in government are already planning for rerun, and this is one of the supports. We will be conversing from you, he was quoted as saying. We will also be getting prepared because since all those in government are already preparing for rerun, we too should not be taken on our ways. But it seems that it seems that news has not been well received by supporters of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, popularly called obedient as he rejected the rumors of an election rerun and called for the disqualification of Bola Tinubu, a supporter who we declare that rerun is meant for disqualified candidates in the event that a winner does not emerge at the first ballot. H.E. Peter Obi won at the first ballot, and Tinubu was never qualified to contest in the first place. Disqualify Peter will be, <coughs> I beg your pardon, and declare uh, disqualify Tinubu and declare Peter will be Nigerian's president. And the second person said, There shall be no rerun, but Tinubu will be disqualified. We are not in court to get a rerun, we are in court to retrieve our mandate from that criminal. Peter Obi is not contesting for any election again. He already won. Why would they prepare for any rerun? That will not happen. Why the third person stated that it is very interesting to hear that Bola Metunubu and APC are already preparing for a rerun. I thought they said our case is not strong. Please tell them to stop wasting their time. Tinubu will be disqualified, and Peter Obi will be declared the authentic winner of the election by the Supreme Court. Obedient, let's remain focused and unite and united. Victory is assured. Meanwhile, a Nigerian singer and strong writer, Charles Oputa, popularly called Charlie Boy, a Nigerian activist and singer, stated that supporters of the candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, Peter Obi, we disagree. Even if the politicians decide to stop challenging the outcome of the IPU, Obi and the party are challenging the victory of Bola Tinubu of the ruling All Progressive Congress at the presidential election petition in Tribuna in Abuja. But in a tweet on Tuesday, Charlie Boy said, Obedient movement. Supporters of Peter Obi is bigger than Obi himself. See as Obi they look me, you know something. Even if Obi, even if Peter Obi come to tell us, say, make we move on from the 2023 year year selection when Yakubu mess up, Obi then not go grill, Sam Sam. 
I they tell many people say, waiting won't happen when done overdue to happen for Nigeria past Peter will be. Even if Peter will be tells us to move on from the 2023 uh, election messed up by Yakubo, obedience will not agree. I tell you people that what will happen in Nigeria is bigger than Peter will be, he wrote. In a related development, Sahara reporters earlier reported how some supporters of Obi had been attacking uh, Pastor Oyem, Oyeme Day Online, Poju Yeme Day Online. Oyem, Oyeme, the senior pastor and the founder of the Covenant Nation, has been attacked by Obedient over his recent comments urging Nigerians to work together for the country's growth, regardless of party allegiance. Oyemedi, on his Twitter page, had written, For everyone who loves Nigeria, you want the country to win, regardless of who is uh, playing, just like you want your favorite team to win the trophy, even if the coach does not feed your preferred players. When your team scores, you are happy. Let's stay focused. It's all about the country's winning. The comment, however, did not go down well with some netizens who were ardent supporters of Peter Obi. A Twitter user, Auntie Uzo, described the cleric's position as demonic. As she said, Lo, Pastor Poju is a funny fellow. I just joined his life, whatever, and someone called him out, telling him to ask God for forgiveness for the demonic tweet he made yesterday. And boom, he turned off the comment. I hope someone took a, a screenshot. He knows what he's doing. Chameleon, another user, Chijoke, alleged that the pastor's comment was born out of his political affiliation. He said there are men of dogs who eat of the, the rots in the system. So I am not surprised when he states to when he starts to remark evil instead of chastising criminals on the pulpit. Okay, guys, you've all edited now. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.